All right, Cole, Silver Fox. I just want you to know, this is not some meager little walk that Alex and I are doing right now. This is a downright hike because you wanted to see more stuff around Vegas. So if a mountain lion gets me, it's all your fault. Yeah, don't step in the horse shit. I will try to show you where we are shortly if I don't fall with the gimbal and die out here in the middle of the Nevada desert. you've never seen a public restroom in a national park, especially one that's built in the desert, let me show you how this particular facility works. It is literally, quite simply, a giant hole in the earth. That's all it is. No water. No water. Oh, you guys wanted exploration. I'm gonna give it to you. It's always a good sign, a big black bird like that. Over where? Oh. What? Trail is not maintained. We're gonna turn left and go down that. It's not so bad. See it on the left? In case you're wondering where we are, this is the site of St. Thomas. This was the town that was underwater when the lake was still up. And Alex and I are going out to look at the ruins. You can see them way out there. But we got a little bit of a hike to get there. That's okay. I need the exercise. Keep going. Doing this with a gimbal, probably not the smartest thing. Okay, so keep in mind there used to be a lake here. And this is the remnants of whatever tree was growing on this particular property. No, these are not ancient ruins, but it was somebody's tiny house or some sort of building. Is there a plaque? Oh, there's a plaque on this one. Oh, it's over there a little farther. What's left is the foundation.
I wonder where the bathroom was. <laughs> they didn't have bathrooms probably. Foundation of somebody's little home. On the middle of the hike to the ruins, you come up on this. What is land worth? Now my grandfather worked on this dam, but he didn't live in this city or this town. Residents began dismantling their homes and moving to nearby towns. By 1932, St. Thomas was becoming a ghost town. Only a few hardy individuals remained. In June 1938, Hugh Lord lit his house on fire and left by boat as the water was lapping at his door. So, and this is a picture of the construction of Hoover Dam in 1934. And, as I said, the Boulder Dam Act of 1928, signed into law by President Calvin Coolidge, authorized the construction of Boulder Dam. This meant the end for St. Thomas, as the rising waters of Lake Mead would eventually inundate the town. A little bit of history for you. We've come up to the next ruin. As I step over the horse crap. This one here, there's a sign before you get up to this talking about the train is here. So I'm wondering if this was part of the train station that brought um, perishables and ice to the people of St. Thomas. It's a big hole. Oh, is it a hole? Yeah. I can hear my echo. This was just a house, but it has some kind of a basement in it, <laughs> or a crawl space. If I was a better host, I'd probably go down there for you, but I'm not a better host. You'll be crawling. Yeah. This, I would imagine, was the shooter hole. Wow, what is down there? Then we have another ruin over here. There's Alex. Fall down with a gimbal. There's fucking shit sticking up out of the ground everywhere. Stay on the path, stupid. Another ruin. This person must have been rich because it's a big ass house. <laughs> it's the foreman of the dam builders. Look, I think I found one of the Ten Commandments. It's laying right here on the ground. There it is. All right, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna make it all the way to the chimney because in 45 minutes we're, we need to be out of here. Oh, almost 30 minutes and it's a long walk all the way back there see where my fingers pointing you can't see it but there's a little tiny building right there Alex's car's parked right over by it we have to walk all the way back there I don't want to walk all the way back there my leg is killing me actually no it's not I'm, I'm just kind of 
screwing around. It is a little bit sore, but I notice it's getting better because it doesn't hurt as bad as it did when I was at the convention. And at the convention, I didn't have to uh, hike. So, sorry I don't get to go out to the other... Um, Uh-oh, we're losing me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I don't get to go out to the other ruin, but uh, we got to start heading out of here. And um, we'll see you guys in a minute. Later. This is actually a kind of a neat little place to visit. But if you do plan on coming out to St. Thomas, I would suggest that you wear some kind of shoes you don't mind getting dirty, some kind of hiking boot or tennis shoe, and uh, you're going to go for a walk. You park up on a plateau, and then you have to uh, hike all the way back down, walk over horse crap, all the fun stuff. But it's kind of neat to see. History is always fun, at least for me, and um, I've never been here before. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt I can just imagine. Quick. What was that? Yeah, sap. Lots of sap. Lots of dirt. I'm gonna have to clean out of my gimbal. I'm probably out of my camera. I can see the dust all over the ND filter now. But let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, should I keep doing stuff like this? Finding places to go that really aren't subjects of YouTube videos that much? Some of them are, but I don't know if St. Thomas is or not. So please leave a uh, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So you know next time I upload a video. And I will see you guys on the next adventure. Peace. <laughs>